Now Nitin and I will demonstrate the antenna assembly procedure. Some extremely basic tools are required. A measuring tape, a 15 mm open end spanner, a screwdriver and pliers. When you unpack the antenna, you will see two antenna booms linked together with a steel cable. One antenna boom has got a red band on it. This is the upper dipole and this other one which is unpainted is the lower dipole. Also there will be four U-clamps which will be used to mount the dipoles. Four antenna elements to facilitate assembly these elements are numbered. Right next to the uh, screw the numbers are punched. This happens to be number four. This is a splitter box. This is what divides the power between the two dipoles. Addition to the basic tools that are required you will also need to procure a galvanized iron pipe of one and half inch diameter and a length of 10 feet. The dipole with a red band is fitted exactly 70 centimeters from the top edge of the pipe. 70 centimeter mark passing along the center axis of the boom. We use U-clamps to hold it in position. All nuts are evenly tightened. The lower dipole is fitted so that the cable interconnecting them is fully stretched. The antenna elements are fitted so that number one is at the top, next comes number two, Similarly, number three and four. The splitter box is fitted approximately halfway between the two dipoles using UV treated cable ties. The center terminal is the input to the splitter box and the other two are outputs which are connected to the upper and lower dipole. These cables can be tied to the pipe using cable ties similarly with the lower one. Having assembled the antenna, do a visual check that element number 2 and element number 3, their tips are exactly aligned with each other. If not, the boom can be rocked and tapped to get them to match exactly.
now the antenna system is ready to be mounted onto the tower